size. So you can tell by the title, I got a new screen. Now, the catch here is, it's a scratch and dent screen. So I don't know exactly what the condition is of the screen. I got it for like half price from Eurozone, Eurozone Tuning. If you've never heard of them, they do, um, they sell all the screens that you could ever want for your golf, but from the old, real small ones, to the 6.5 to the eight, and then like the, the ugly eight, and then this eight, that's like the real nice one, then the 9.2, and all the conversion boxes and wiring harnesses you would need to convert from MIB1 to MIB2, or MIB1 to 2.5, or two to 2.5. And for the 2.5, the only reason you need that is for the, I think it's 9.2 or 9.3 inch screen, which is gorgeous, and it has like, you can do like swipe controls, like without touching it, like it, anyway. And they also sell the digital um, dash stuff as well, and all the wire I needed for that. I don't know about the coating, but I think for the digital dash, you still gotta go see the dealer because of the uh, mileage and stuff. They gotta use some Otis stuff. Anyway, whatever. This is not sponsored, by the way. I'm just shouting them out. Um, Hopefully this screen isn't in too bad a condition. I emailed them beforehand. They sent me pictures of um, what could it, it what it could possibly look like, and just was like some dead pixels at a certain angle. But uh, I don't know. Let's open it up. All right. So I just opened it up. You got some paperwork in here. Kind of shows you how to take off the trim. Eurozone tuning, and then uh, the invoice. I haven't looked at it yet, so we're gonna see this thing together here. All right, seems packaged pretty nice. Some foam here. I opted to get the tools. You can get, um, I have pry tools, but I didn't have the screen removal tools. So now I got extra pry tools that are brand new and uh, the radio tools to get the radio out there. So there's that. And we got, it comes with brand new. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize there was vents in it as well. I thought you kept your vents. All right, so that's neat. Brand new vents. I guess I gotta swap over my button too there. Well, that's neat. Wow. I'm gonna barely have enough room to set my pop socket mount there. That'll be, wow. All right. This will be fun. <laughs> set that there. And now, the grand finale. So, let's get this cut open. All right, so we're seeing this here together for the first time. Get my lazy fingerprints all over it, but uh... All right, here we go. Ta-da! Nice. Very nice. It even has got a screen protector on it. Can't really see it there, wow. It doesn't even look damaged to me at all. I guess we'll have to see, obviously, if there's dead pixels once the screen's on. Wow. I think there's, what, like two connectors there on the back? Dope. And those uh, little screen things I was telling you about, like, go down here and to the sides. You'll need four of them to, like, get these clips out. Very cool. All right. So, uh, go pull this old one off. My little baby screen here. All right, we're gonna start by basically going up under here and go with your fingers if you want. Pop the bottom ones out and then go around with the tools. Pop this whole trim out and then we'll pull the screen, pull the connectors, and then reinstall the new one. I'm gonna try and do this in real time. Hopefully the angle's not too bad for you. I'm usually pretty good at trim stuff, so. Oh, maybe not today. Oh, there we go. Here's one song. Oh, ow. Okay, got the bottom off. That freaking hurt. Whew. Hopefully the rest isn't that bad. Try to get this one 
under there, give it some pressure. Okay. Oh, broke a clip. Sure did. Damn. Well, bum to happen. Everything's in pressure here. So I took the tool here and went under and then kind of and it popped the hazard out. And it says the hazard and the vents will come out together, which we'll unplug this. Alright. Now that that's out, should be able to just manhandle all this. There we go. Wow. All right. So well, that's done. Some of these clips wanted to come out, pop and fly. They weren't broken. I thought I broke stuff. The clips just kind of. Last thing I want is a freaking random rattle. So, these keys go in, these slots, they go in like knife facing inside, like this. And you got one at all four corners. This one's giving me a pain. Let me get it in there. There we go. Now, this whole thing should come out as it do. Got two connectors on the back. One Mississippi. This one's going to be harder to deal with just one hand, but uh, I'll take this stuff inside and we can compare sizes. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, the old one. I just need to pop, get my mount over to here, but uh, wow. Talk about a difference in just the bezels alone. And look at that. Look at that screen difference. Jesus Christ. That thing just eats that thing a lot. I mean, this isn't full full screen. I mean, it only does go to right there, but it just looks 30 times better. You don't have these ugly buttons. These are just like touch. This will be nice. Scroll feels a little bit better on here. It looks like it centers to center easier too. I'd like to get rid of that. Get one of them stickers to go over. I hate seeing that power button. Makes me never want to use it, but. It'll be a lot easier to clean. I always get dirt. You can see there's a hair there now. I always get dirt and hair stuck down in the corners. Not a fan. Alright, here we are back in the car. It's literally just these two connections on the back. I, uh, in the instructions, it says that this blue one you might have to trim like one of those little lines. But uh, mine looks like it fits comparing the back sides of these. So uh, we'll plug it in, set it in here, and. Uh, Turn the car on, see how she looks. I'm expecting some dead pixels. Hopefully it's nothing terrible, but for half price, hopefully it's worth it. Alright, we'll grab her here. No. Dose. Alright, they are in. No special tools to get it back into its spot. Make sure your two cables are still hanging out here up top for your hazards. Damn, this thing is freaking massive. Alright. Here we go. Oh, let me fix the camera. Sorry. Testing. System ready. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of dead pixels over here. Dang. Oh no. I don't even know if I can use this thing. Oh man. Hmm. Huh. It's kind of hard to get on camera here. Well, there we go. Dang, it's a nice screen though. Man. 
All right, well, I usually use YouTube Music, and it's pretty dark. It's a dark app, as is. So on YouTube Music, it doesn't look bad at all. And you can't really tell. Get the lights on. So you look down at the buttons, you can see they're kind of miscolored because of the dead pixels in that area. But um, like if we go to, say, where's Waze at? Oh, see, it's hidden in the pixel. I don't know if I can really deal with this or not. The screen itself is just, I mean, it's super nice. It's big. I really like the flatness of it. Like, it's dope. I just, I don't know. If I'm in YouTube music all the time, I mean, I won't even notice it. Which is fine. So what are you willing to sacrifice? Half price for this and then, I don't know. I need to get a shorter USB-C cable because... I hate long cables. Huh. I'm just going to run it for now. If I don't like it after a week, just swap back to the old one. Or just pay up and get a new one. Like a proper one that isn't messed up now that I've actually seen one in person. Um, man. That's all I got. I think I'm going to go grab the other trim. It should just pop right back on. and came off. Make sure you don't, you know, Suck your wires on in there, plug your plug in, and well, I'll do it and show you guys. See what I think. All right, ladies and gentlemen, fully installed. I think I'm gonna leave it after putting the trim piece on and the pop socket mount. Shout out, um, I got channel pop sockets if you want one. But uh, this mount's really nice, really small, freaking boom, right in. Look, you guys watch JR14? We're talking. Shout out JR14. But uh looks really nice. Really. Testing. System ready. Yeah. Hmm. Well, let me know what you guys think. It was half price, so I can't really complain. I could return it if I wanted to. I think I'm just gonna rock it. Until I find another one for cheap or something. Maybe I'll get sick of it and swap it back. I don't know. I really don't spend too much time looking at it. But uh Especially you get the auto screen off feature and it'll display the clock like 10 seconds without putting your hand in front of it. It'll just display a clock. So, I mean, really, I don't know. I don't even know what I was thinking about it. I was like, yeah, you know, we'll see. I don't know. Sometimes I just buy things to buy things. <laughs> but uh, next up should be a digital dash here soon. I really want to get that bezel-less mirror as well with the home link stuff, but uh, we'll see. I got the PM4 to put in tomorrow morning and the uh, wiring for the P3 gauge to the ethanol sensor. So we'll see how that goes. Be looking out for those videos. Link in the description and I'll uh, catch you on the football.